Deku has finally shown the ability to combine One For All's different quirks, something that we've only seen Shigaraki and All For One doing using their quirk with its massive loadout. Now that Deku has done the work of learning each individual One For All quirk, he can finally start mixing them together and creating new, interesting, and unique effects using the fusion of different quirks to create something new. Chapter 368 is the first time that we saw Deku using one of these quirk fusion techniques, and that's when we saw Deku using Black Whip and Fajin combined to create a move called Black Chain, a chain-linked version of Black Whip reinforced by Fajin's ability to empower Deku based on the stored energy he's accumulated on his way to the battlefield. Instead of applying Fajin to himself, he applies it to Black Whip specifically, boosting Black Whip into a much more durable chained form. But is this the limit of the quirk fusion techniques that Deku can pull off? Of course not. So let's brainstorm some potentially powerful quirk combinations that Deku could use in this battle, since it opens up a whole new avenue of combat for Deku and all of this is very exciting. Now my first idea immediately when thinking about what would be the most useful combination of quirks that he could use with one for all, right? Because we have all these different quirks that you can see explained in my video explaining all the different quirks that Deku's gonna unlock in season six of My Hero Academia. It's pretty much all of them except for the final one, which we did recently have unlocked. And there's also a video on that that you can watch on the channel. But yeah, let's get past all that and go into this first idea, which is Black Whip mixed with Smokescreen. So Black Whip plus Smokescreen to me equals black smoke. And black smoke would be a controllable form of smoke that spreads like darkness and can even thicken and become physical to lock opponents down within the massive cloud. Since the cloud itself is technically infused with black whip, Deku should be able to control it like physical matter. And honestly, since he'd be controlling a moving cloud of energy and air swirling together, I wonder if he could ride it too, like Nimbus sort of. Now this is one that I thought would be really useful because Deku really can't control the smoke in any sort of way, right? He can just let the smoke out of his body that he makes with smoke screen, but he can't shape it and he can't really do anything with it other than just letting it out. So I feel like if he were able to combine black whip and the smoke screen to make a large section of just black or darkish green smoke, then that should also give him the ability to control it very much like Black Whip. And we know that Black Whip can expand, Black Whip can stick to surfaces and it can attach to things, and it can be controlled very, very intricately. So I feel like that would give Deku control over the large cloud of smoke. And since Black Whip can grab onto things, maybe he literally would just be able to capture someone in a large cloud of black smoke. So if there's a big horde of villains in like a giant street or something, or a, a five city block radius, Deku can fill the entire area with black smoke and then just capture everyone at once, right? Everyone would effectively be in the smoke cloud and then Deku could disperse the smoke and just have everyone be attached together by one long strand of black whip. Now continuing the idea of making smoke screen useful, we have smoke screen plus danger sense that equals sense screen. And that would make an area of smoke infused with Deku's danger sensibility that warns him of danger in a specific area. Now, Deku has shown the ability to use smoke screen and cover huge areas, but it only serves as cover for him, right? Or his allies, I suppose, if they know to take advantage of the smoke. But in my opinion, smoke screen would be much more useful if Deku could sense what was inside the smoke. So what if he could fuse danger sense and smoke screen to extend Danger Sense into the smoke by combining both quirks, making an extrasensory smoke that can help Deku pinpoint every enemy within the smoke, or he can even drape an area dealing with a catastrophe of sorts in smoke, and that would allow him to know where everyone is that needs to be saved. Getting away from smoke screen, we have Fajin and Black Whip, and I know we've already seen this combination, but I think there's something different you could do with it. So Fajin plus Black Whip equals Black armor. Now we've already seen that Deku uses Black Whip to coat parts of his body. He does it in the war arc by wrapping Black Whip around his arms so they can take more damage before truly being broken and useless while he was fighting Shigaraki. Currently, we know that Deku is limited in how much one for all he can use without risking his arms, and his new gauntlets and arm tech is the only thing keeping his arms in the fight if he uses higher levels of one for all. All Might warned Deku that one day he would get so powerful that support items wouldn't be able to keep up, so he has to master his power enough to be a hero without them. So I think it would be really impressive if Deku took the same combination he used to make Black Chain and wrapped his entire body in Black Whip, reinforcing it with Fajin to create a dark suit of protective armor around his body that could take damage for him for a short while, but would also protect him from decay and all for one momentarily, since it covers his body in an energy that he can just disperse or replace with speed and precision. 
Of course, Deku doesn't really have any sort of defensive quirk, right? So being able to reuse one of the quirks that he already has and giving it defensive capabilities is something that would be extremely helpful for someone who is constantly hurting themselves or fighting people that could do massive amounts of damage or just take you out in one hit. Gear Shift, the second user's quirk plus Fajin and full cowling 100%, I think equals Godspeed. And we know that Deku is fast, right? He always sort of has been ever since he got one for all. But ever since he got Fajin, his speed has leveled up to a massive degree, moving so fast during the Dark Deku arc that he made the raindrops seem like they were just standing in place. With him awakening the second user's quirk, Gear Shift or Transmission, a quirk that we've done a whole video explaining that you can watch by clicking the card in the top right or the link in the description. With this quirk being awakened, Deku's speed is reaching an almost untouchable level. Using the second quirk, Deku was able to move so fast that even Shigaraki, an All Might level opponent, wasn't able to see it, let alone react to it. Even further, Deku was able to send Shigaraki flying before the sound of the impact of Deku reaching Shigaraki and punching him ever even registered. This quirk combined of 100% full cowling and overdrive speed is surely going to make Deku the fastest person in the entire series, but combining both abilities with Fajin, which already served as a massive boost for Deku, is going to bring him even closer to O'Clock levels of speed, and O'Clock was a character that moved so fast that it just seemed like the entire world around him stopped while he had free time to move around like Quicksilver in the Fox X-Men movies. And finally, I do think Deku is here that Deku is capable of this level of speed. And finally, we have Gear Shift plus Fajin plus Danger Sense plus Black Whip plus Smokescreen plus Float, and I guess you could throw in Full Cowling in there also. That would pretty much equal one for all united or mastered one for all and ultimately the ultimate ability that deku could theoretically use is some sort of combination of every user's quirk together to form some sort of powerful final technique let's assume we know that all for one himself loves to do this and this is how he defeated all might back in kamino almost but if deku is trying to end this fight i think he'll remember that every hero has a signature technique that only they can do that serves a purpose for a true hero and calling upon those feelings he'll use every every last bit of one for all that he can to use every user's power to bring all for one to an end, doing what none of them could do individually all together. What this move will look like though, that's sort of anyone's guess. And honestly, I think it's more likely that Deku's gonna do some sort of hidden lotus where he goes through each and every quirk, but what would happen if he fused them all together somehow into one attack? Do you have any idea what it would look like? Let me know down below in the comment section, and I'd love to maybe even come back with another one of these videos to discuss more ideas that we'd have for Deku's potential quirk fusion techniques. So let me know if you have any interesting ideas that you'd like for me to discuss, and I hope you're ready for My Hero Academia Season 6, which drops tomorrow. We'll be keeping the daily upload train with a reaction and some videos covering the episode and what's coming this month, so stay tuned, and I'll see you tomorrow after the episode. Check the Season 6 Episode 1 full synopsis and preview images on my channel already, and yeah, love you guys. It's Pineapple. Peace.